So let's automate this so I don't have to remember to call this on my own. We're going to do that by putting in a cron job. If it's your first time running cron, you'll be asked for your editor. Use what you like. I'm going to use VI. And we'll enter our line. We want to back up five minutes past the hour, 2 a.m., every day, every month, every day of the week. We want to run. I'm Carpy in my case. Put in your user in your case. Back up. Do back up shell run the output to home oops, carpy backup backup dot log any errors we want to go to standard out and we want to put that into the background so basically this is going to run our backup script at five minutes after two every morning and it's going to redirect the output to a log file in our home directory, or in our backup directory. There we go. Now, this log directory could grow the more that we back up and eventually fill up our hard drive. We don't want that to happen. We can put in a log rotate entry to prevent that from happening. Put in your username again. I want seven files in my rotation. Rotate them weekly. Compress them. If they're missing, that's okay. Don't care. And create them with these permissions. And that's it. Our backups will be done every morning. Every week they'll rotate the log files. And we shouldn't have to worry about losing data ever again. So now we have our data backed up. Let's say the unthinkable happens. In a moment of utter stupidity, I deleted my prized third grade essay. What am I supposed to do? What, how I got to get it back? Well, the most straightforward way is to copy it directly from the backup. And there it is, safe and sound. Well, that was a straightforward way to get my data back, but that's a lot of typing, and I'm not likely to remember that. Can we make that easier? Well, yes, we can. But first, let me tell you what's going on. So the SCP command is a remote copy command. We remote copied from our Pi server the backup location of the file that we were missing to our local directory. Not too bad, but we got this weird O oh, prefer preferred authentications equals password. What does that mean? Well, remember we set up our backup key um, and we restricted it to just access via rsync. So if we try to access the Pi remotely directly, we have to tell Secure Shell that we want to use our password and not the rsync key that we set up. So that's what this option is. Let's see if we can make this a little better. In your SSH directory on your host machine, Edit a file called config. I'm going to make up a name for my backup server. Let's call it backup. It's a real name, a real address. 192.168.0.5. Every time we access it, we use the user pi. 
we want to set the preferred authentications to password. Okay. Now we can shorten that line. Much better. What that'll also let us do, if you're graphically minded, we can use this connect to server option if you're using Nemo. Perhaps your file browser may have something similar. And there we've connected to the backup server directly using Nemo, where we could just copy and paste. So now we have our own backup server. All our data is safe for now and forever. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.